Ha! Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel if it's your first time. Today I traded ticker symbol ZM. We're about to get into it, but before we do, I just wanted to call out how crazy the markets were today. Almost down a thousand points on the close. Ooh, that was pretty crazy. And by a thousand points, I'm talking about the DGIA, the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Holy moly. So there was a lot of uncertainty in the markets, mainly around the virus. That's kind of like the whole, um, that's at least where all the articles are kind of pointing, hey, it's because of this. I mean, they're ignoring all the uh, federal policy for the last long time, right? And then they're also ignoring this huge wave of socialism coming in. But nonetheless, um, I did see a, just a little bit of opportunity in the markets to make some money. I came up about $250. But what I really noticed was like, I was hoping that I'd see more downwards momentum to short some of these big name stocks, but it basically gapped way down and then they started coming up. So I couldn't tell whether if it was just a dead cat bounce or if it was actually correcting and coming back up to the upside. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and hop into the trade that I did play and see how it, um, you know, like, you know, how it played out and stuff. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so this is my first trade of the day. Give me a second here. I don't know, there it goes. Okay, it filled. Where did it fill? Oh man, paper trading is so difficult. Let me see. 108.51. It filled the way down here. <laughs> That's funny. Of course it did. So <laughs> I traded it up in this range and it filled way down here. Um, paper trading slow, but here's here's the reality of this situation. Um, this ticker symbol ZM has been bouncing, been going up, boom, 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 boom. But then it's been kind of hitting this wall right here in this in this range. So, and then when it did that, it formed these wolf candles, these inverted hammers, which shows that these were potentially fake breakouts. So, and we're seeing it right again, right around here. So I think that this stock has the potential of starting to turn back around a little bit. Um, so we'll see, we'll see here if it, if it can break past this and actually be a real breakout or if it is showing signs of a, of a slowdown. So yeah, we'll keep an eye on it. So I sold another 100 shares, so I can be down to uh, short, shorting 200 shares, sorry. Um, I, I feel like this MACD just kind of crossed over. Um, I wanted to get into a better position. I mean, I technically was, but like I said, these some, when, you, when you paper trade, sometimes it feels late. So let's see how this one rolls out for us. So I just bought um, 50 shares back. So now I'm short 150. I wanted to just take a little bit of profits there. I'm starting to think that trading on the one minute chart on paper trading is not the smartest idea because it's it moves fast and feels slow. So lesson kind of learned there, but we'll, we'll see what happens. The chart reading was correct for the most part, right? I mean, it did it did pull back past the original entry where it filled, but it would have been nicer to be filled more up here. Looks like it's holding at this um, yellow line, which is the 20 period moving average. And it looks like now it could be potentially breaking above. So we might see it come back up to this 110 range. If not though, that's a good sign for me, being short. I wish Weeble would start integrating a two minute time frame. be a lot better to trade. All right, so this one minute candle just finished forming. That was a wolf candle, so this pulled back and then it bounced up. This could definitely be a, a farther move to the downside. Let us see though, who knows? It's hard to tell. Come on, break the 20. Break it. There we go, come on kind of holding around this because there's a lot of support in this area at this data points and then you have the yellow um, line to 20 period moving average if you can break this we'll see a little bit of movement to the downside even farther I just bought another 50 at market price so now I'm only short 100 shares 
um, for the day. I wanted to take some profits in just in case if this is all fake, which I mean, it doesn't look fake. It looks pretty real to me, but <laughs> let's see here. So that was a monster, monster bear pull right here. That was a big move. So we might see it bounce up a little bit, but this is looking, this is looking pretty bearish, pretty darn bearish. Might see it go sideways and then break down to more to the downside, or we might just see it continue to create some red, red bars, some blood. Um, regardless or not, I have a buy order um, at 107.01. Because if it falls to that point, I can just be out for the day. Oh, wants to come back. He's like, help me, I'm coming back. It's too much downward pressure for you, buddy. Get yourself back down there. But look it, I can get up there. It's trying so hard. Trying and succeeding, I should say. <laughs> wow, this is, 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 this could be faded. Watch, I'm gonna sell another 100 shares. See, so when it moves this fast to the upside, I mean, especially when there's all this downwards momentum in the MACD, this can be easily faded. Let's see here. Let's see if I can get another 100 shares filled. Boom, okay, cool, I shorted another 100 shares. So it came back up to my original spot here. It was a fast move to the upside with still a lot of downwards pressure, so I feel like, you know, it could rubber band back down, which it looks like it might be doing. There you go. Once again, those movements, if I was trading with real money, those movements I could probably catch for the most part. Maybe not on the one minute, because Weeble, Weeble works pretty quickly, but it's not like light speed brokerage or something, you know, like that. Or interactive brokers. Let me just check what the five minute time frame is doing. Five minute time frame bounced off the eight period moving average, so hmm. There's still a lot of ah oh gosh, yeah, it's hard to say. It's hard to say what's going on right now. That could have been the pullback right there, and now it could be moving more to the upside. Except even on the one minute time frame, these candles, these on this run up, it just everything looks so sketch. Sketch magoo. So it broke that broke that trend line. You could see the breakout happening. Also another big breakout. Still hasn't broke above the 110 area, which would cause more of a concern to break above this. So I'm still in it. Seeing what's up. This chart honestly looks like Meatball and spaghettis. It's kind of like just wiggly everywhere. <laughs> it's not giving me really any signs. So if I can get out of it in a profit, I'll take it. If if I get out in a loss, like it is what it is. But I'm just really, yeah. I probably should have just exited my position when I was selling portions of my share down here. But and then it would have been a pretty dang good day. But as of right now, it's like. I don't know. I don't know. I do know though, if it breaks the 110, we can see a large green candle to the upside. If it's not a fake breakout. So if it is a fake breakout, then it'd pretend and fake me out and then come back down even more, but we'll see. So I was thinking of this green candle. I'm like, where? It's in kind of no man's land, this one right here kind of like bounced wherever. And then when I went to the five minute chart, well, it just go ahead and see that it was the eight day period, period moving average. So it looks like it potentially might bounce off this point too, 108.47. This red candle's coming down. Um, or, and then it's not, it's having trouble breaking this out. So like, yeah, we might, and then if you look at the MACD, it's trying to kind of curl over and then the volume, the buyers are kind of dropping off, the volume's dipping down. The volume I don't mind about so much because sometimes actually on bull flags when it comes up and consolidates, you'll see the volume drop off. But on the breakout, if there's a lot of volume, then, then it's like a real breakout. So I guess you just got to kind of pay attention to both, both charts, see what's good. So 
We're seeing that movement back down to the downside. Cool. <laughs> I sold um, 50 shares already, but I'm waiting for another 50 to fill. There we go, just filled. Okay, and this one's forming kind of a hammer candle, so we might see another bounce to the upside. So I'm just gonna go ahead and boom, 50 share market order again. And this should close my position out if it fills. Let's see if it drops down a little bit more to get a good fill. Boom, I'm out of the position. So that was kind of a whirlwind of trading there, but um, I mean, my intuition, I guess that would be the right word, was correct. Um, $252, not too bad. I'm gonna see if there's any more opportunities because today is quite a wild trading day, but I don't wanna like lose more than half of the current profits that I have. So I'm gonna keep that in mind. But yeah, that was like, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. it was like 10 minutes of trading. Not too bad, not too bad. So I'll be back on the next trade.